Hey guys, I'm back. Um, the video did upload, so I'm really excited. And I'm not too smart. I've had this laptop since February or March. And every time I uploaded a video, I took the USB cable from the camera and plugged it into a port on the laptop. And it's been acting up lately where it doesn't want to recognize the camera. And um, you have to like move the cord a certain way for it to like, you know, click. And so I'm looking at the USB ports and realized that I have a slot just to take the stupid memory card and put it straight into the laptop. Like all these months and I didn't even realize I had that. So you know how fast it uploaded? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a book review on Other by Karen Kinsey. And I never even heard of this book until I was on Goodreads one day and I seen another book um, by the person that sent me this that I wanted and then they told me they were reading this book and they were almost done with it and they said it was really good and they said if I wanted it that they would add it in the shipment. So I'm like, you know what, why not? Because when you add another book, it's like less than a dollar to add it. So um, This is her debut novel and it says, Gwen Williams has been hiding a strange and fantastic secret. She's a, she's a shapeshifter. Although society may tolerate vamp may tolerate vampires, centaurs, and others like one, there are plenty of folks in her small Washington town who don't care for her kind. When a new werewolf pack moves into the area, tensions rise, and others start showing up dead, including someone close to Gwen. Despite the methodical murders, the police are ignoring evidence that suggests a serial killer. In the midst of terrible loss and danger, Gwen, along with a mysterious and sexy guy who happens to be a Japanese fox spirit, or sprite, I don't know how you pronounce that, risks her life to find the murderer, but Gwen is already the killer's next target. Um, this was actually a pretty good book. Um, there's only, there's 326 pages in it, but I finished it in a day because the font is like this. And the reading, it just flowed for me. Um, it just went so quickly. The writing style reminds me of Melissa De La Cruz. Um, blue blood series and so that was kind of cool it's about a girl of course they say like named Gwen and she's actually a shapeshifter but she's called a pookie a half pookie is what they call it because her dad was the shapeshifter um, her mom kind of had a fling with him and Gwen was born and now she doesn't know anything about her dad she's never met her dad or anything like that and um, she can shapeshift into any animal that she thinks about um, the other people in her town um, don't like um, others, they call them. And uh, so she has to hide what she is. She has a best friend also who's another. And there's not many in her town that she knows of because, you know, once again, everybody's hiding it from everybody because, you know, nobody likes them. So um, one day um, somebody ends up dead and she realizes that it's an other it was like a water sprite a water spirit and um so she's like okay you know you don't know who's doing it and that same week she hears wolves um howling she lives right by the forest so she takes off flying over the forest turned into an owl and she discovers werewolves so now she knows there's werewolves in her area too and werewolves are really frowned upon because they feel like they just bite people just to turn them and um, so at first everybody starts thinking you know or the others start thinking that it's the werewolves that are doing the killing because other others are turning up dead and of course the police don't want to take it seriously um, the others to them is kind of like um, prostitutes you know where you 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 feel sad but you don't like really dig into it too deep so uh you know unfortunately that shouldn't be how it is but in a lot of society it is um, and that's how they treat others in this book so basically it's you know um that she's trying to find the murderer um and she gets herself of course into trouble because she's the next victim she's supposed to be the next victim and so as she's trying to find the murderer which is really stupid anyways um he's trying to get her so she uh was dating a guy for about a year and he never knew that she was another and um she confessed to him that she was and he had to break up with her because like i said it's frowned upon um 
and then she uh, met somebody else and didn't even realize what he was until a little bit later. Well, she kind of knew, and um, so then they started dating. And um, so it's a it's a good book. In the end, you know, of course, you find out who the killer is, and it's somebody that. I didn't think it would be, or I didn't even think about, because they don't really put too much focus on this person, so for you to even suspect them. Um, so yeah, it was a good read. Um, it has, there's not too much activity, like they don't talk about werewolves too much, or vampires too much, or like what these others actually do. They don't go into their lifestyle or anything like that. Um, it's basically just a, a whodunit, a murder mystery. Um, so, but it was still, it was still a decent read. I give it about three stars. Other by Karen Kinsey. It's a pretty cover. So that's that. Um, since the video seems to be uploading now, I'm going to do my question and answer video too after this gets uploaded. So, all right, talk to you guys later. Bye.